Salut everyone. Recently, I discovered some type of like performance loss related to one of the features within KDE. And uh, yes, it's, it's a problem and you might be affected. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. First, I want to pinpoint the first issue in this video. My hairdresser is not dead. I just need to take some time and do it. But lately, I don't have the time for that. So you're going to have to deal with my ugly face. Out, like, <laughs> if we get out that all of the way, um, let's talk about the issue, okay? I always like to start with a little bit of context and something which is, like, in my opinion, like, really important is to understand where I'm coming from. Recently, like, two weeks ago, I did upgrade my PC, I upgrade my CPU, I upgrade my RAM, and what I want you to do really is create a new baseline for all the benchmark, right? When you create a baseline on, uh, you know, at a certain point, it's really easier when I do my live stream uh, to compare if, you know, like when I test a new distro, if this new distro is giving any type of advantage in terms of FPS, if there is like uh, better lows, minimum lows, etc., etc. So I was really working on that. And while I was doing my test, I noticed that I, I, I had an issue on a fresh install. For whatever reason, my fresh install was actually performing way, way, way better than my like uh, operating system I use on a daily basis. And th the kick in it is, you know, it is, is that my operating system I actually use on a daily basis is super clean. I really take care of it. I'm, I'm sure of everything I install on it. And I, I was pretty sure like it, it was not an issue related to me, but something was odd. So, so what I started to do, uh, I, I, I started to, you know, try to figure it out what, what was the issue of this like weird performance. So it took me like a full two days. And I, I say it again, two days of trying to, to pinch like the, the issue of this problem. I did like change the driver. I changed the kernel. I changed the way the driver were actually loaded, uh, you know, via DKMS or not DKMS. I tried to modify like the mod probe option uh, for loading the driver within the initramfs. I'm, I was thinking like maybe there is something wrong there too. And I, I tried to, to change the module uh, for the driver itself. Like I, I tried everything. And at a certain point I was like, you know what, Max, like you had a problem and certainly you tweak something on your main operating system. It has to be this. And you're going to nuke your operating system. And, and let me let me be clear. My operating system was working like so good. I had no issue at all. But I went there and I nuked it. I was like, you know what? There is something you don't control. You forget about a tweak you made. It happened. It's good. I reinstalled it. And guess what? I had the same problem on the OS I just installed. At this moment in time, I just like, I, I, I just implode it. I was like, what is happening? And what you need to understand is like, at the same time, I also had like, like, like two weeks earlier, I did change everything in my PC, right? The motherboard, the CPU. So I was like, maybe it's a, it's a hardware problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it, something doesn't make sense. Like, like nothing makes sense. So at this point of the video, you are certainly asking yourself, like, Air Max, were you able to finally understand what's going on? Like, did, did you solve it? And yes, I did. And for you to really grasp the type of issue I was encountering, I make this little video here. And on this video, what you can see uh, would be uh, the, the three different settings that will directly impact the benchmark I'm talking about, like the performance I'm talking about. So the game I, I usually use for benchmark is Shadow of the Tomb Raider on Linux because it's a native uh, game. So like that, if there is any issue related to Proton or Wine, I put it on the side and I can tell right away if there is something related to Linux, the driver or the kernel. And I, I love this bench. I think it's pretty funny. There is a guy which is sometimes like have a pants or a skirt or like, or actually like no pants. But anyways, like th this benchmark is, is really good on Linux. And if you look at it right now, you will have like the on the left, the best benchmark or the actual like normal benchmark I would get 
Then in the middle, when one option in KDE is actually activated, uh, KDE will land, and I need to explain it. And the second one, when another option is added to the mix in KDE Wayland. Okay, so I, I'm going to play it again. And so far, you're going to be like, hey, the, the difference is not that much. On the left, you have like 300 FPS, 306, the middle 303, and then 300. You know, it's it's margin of error. Okay, so we're going to continue into it, but you will notice like it's it's not a margin of error type of issue depending on the scenario, right? Whether it's more like on the CPU or whether it's more on the GPU. And you will see in the next phase of the benchmark, these difference start to become like huge. And when I say huge, uh, like here we go, guys. Like we're having like 377 on the normal one, 358 on the second one, and then 348 on the last one. And you can tell right away, like between the, the first one and the second one, there is like almost like like 10 percent, 10 percent decrease in FPS j just at this moment. And, and and listen, guys, this is nothing crazy, but again, like uh, we, we need to talk about it. So at this point, you're going to be asking like, OK, Max, like, stop. Just tell me what it is. Well, I'm going to tell you what it is. On the on the left side, what you have is KDE Wayland uh, without any color correction and any screen mirroring. What I discovered is that if you are running any type of like color uh, profile on your uh, screen where you push the game, your main screen, you're going to lose FPS. Like you're, you're going to lose like a, a lot of performance. And this is an actual issue that has been documented. It has been documented like uh, in November of 2023. So it's like what? It's like one year, uh, one year and like, like three months. So this is a whole issue, okay? And if you look at the actual like bug report there on, on the KDE website, uh, a lot of people have been commenting on it. Like it's, it's, it's a big problem. And it's a problem whether you have an AMG card or whether you have an NVIDIA card. So it doesn't come from the, the, the driver stack. It's something else, right? And the, the good news is that the last post, if you look at it, made by Zamunda. And Zamunda is actually mentioning that there is a setting right now which is going to be added in the KDE Plasma 6.3 to solve the issue. And it's written here, uh, you know, this setting reduce ICC profile to matrix shaper mode when set to prefer efficiency, which make it not to have any performance impact anymore when KMS offloading works and adjust bit per color of the shadow buffer if it exists to match the preference, right? So if you look at how it is right now in KDE Plasma 6.3, which was released yesterday, by the way, there is two options here. You have the color accuracy, the new option, like the, 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 the user was mentioning earlier. And you have two options. You have the prefer efficiency here, which is the one which is normally like not impacting your FPS. And the second one, which is like prefer color accuracy, right? The one which is supposed to impact your FPS. So for all the content creators out there, uh, those options are super important because they calibrate kind of like your, your screen and made the brightness, the, the color intensity, like not as intense. That's, that is supposed to be. And me, I use it, especially when I'm editing my video on, on DaVinci Resolve, because otherwise, like, the colors, they, they kind of like are off. And even when I browse, it, it just doesn't look good. So on paper, with the release of this KDE Plasma 6.3, everything should be solved, right? Well, here is the kicker. You know the video I've been showing you uh, with comparison of like uh, if the color profile is on or off? Well, it has been recorded with KDE Plasma 6.3 beta. So I was doing those tests for the last like, uh, I would say like three or four days. And I've been doing it also like on the KDE Plasma 6.2, like the, the, the previous one. What I'm trying to explain that is like, it's, it's not solved. So I don't know now if it's a bug on the KDE end. I don't know if it's a bug on the NVIDIA driver because the user is mentioning something related to KMS. Maybe NVIDIA doesn't support that. But at the end of the day, the performance loss is still there. 
And if you look at the third part in the video, uh, the thing I didn't mention here is that you can lose, on, on top of that, you can even lose like more FPS. And you're going to lose even more FPS if you mirror your screen. So if you go back to my settings, what I'm streaming here, what I have to do is like I have to make a, a replication of this screen. Okay. So my capture card here, which is a, uh, like this, this capture card, like just GC 553 G2, is capturing my main screen, right? It's a replica of my other screen there. When you add this option in KDE Wayland, you're going to take another dip in terms of performance. So you understand that they just accumulate, right? And, and, and there is a kicker. Because at this point, you're going to be like, yeah, Max, it's normal, it's normal, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not. Because if I do the same test in X11, I don't have any performance loss. I have zero performance loss when I mirror my screen. So now, if you want to look at the number, like the raw number for the benchmark, if I run my game without any color correction or any screen mirroring, I would have like 347 FPS. If I add a color correction, whether it's a, you know, the color correction, like efficient color correction or the non-efficient one, I will still lose around like 6%. Okay, so the, the new release, again, I'm repeating it again, doesn't help in terms of performance. You still get a big uh, decrease in terms of FPS, which is huge. Like 6% is, is not margin of error. And if on top of that, you mirror your screen, like I do for certain of my stream or certain of my recording, you're going to lose another like 4% on top of it. So long story short, you run vanilla without color connection, without, without anything, you will be fine. You run your game with color correction plus screen mirroring, you lose around like 10% of performance, 10% of raw performance. And I'm telling you, this is huge in my opinion. Uh, it's something we should like really take in consideration. If you are a gamer out there, a content creator, uh, make sure that you are aware of this uh, because you know it's 10 percent on my machine i can't imagine if you have a machine which is a little bit less powerful the impact might be even greater again guys i wanted to share that with you and you know sharing is not enough i know like we have a lot of users out there who encounter issue within the world of linux and here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do my part i'm gonna open ticket right create issue uh, in the, the respective place. Here, I believe like those bugs are related to KDE. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write a post in the KDE bug explaining exactly the situation. And I'm going to document it because this is the power of Linux. We are having like sometimes like issue, which is normal, right? It's in constant development. There is new feature which appear and sometimes they bring bugs. And this is what you need to do. Like you need to go create a ticket, document it as much as you can and give it to the people who are actually like in charge and people that might help. Maybe some people are not in charge, but they will just read the pods and say like, oh yeah, I know how to fix that. They're going to look at the code and they're going to fix it. But for all the other users out there, you know, uh, which are running KDE, I would say like right now, like stay away from the color correction and stay away uh, from like screen mirroring uh, on your machine because that's definitely impacting your fps so yeah i hope this helps uh, guys i will keep you in the loop uh, about this bug i really hope like the team of kd is going to be able to fix it and uh, yeah i will make certainly a follow-up video uh, toward this one guys uh, thank you very much for watching this was a hell of an adventure like to say the least but i'm happy i, I found the issue which was just an option <laughs> <laughs> in my display settings thank you very much uh, for everything please give a thumbs up to this video if you learn anything or if you enjoy the content also i want to thank uh, again like all the financial supporters of uh, this channel you guys are the best and uh, yeah see you on the next one
Bisous, bisous.